not talking about who rules the world. Rulership, leadership is about kingdom. You cannot be a king without having a domain. Kingdom is a domain that has a king. So man was to have dominion. He was the king of this domain called planet Earth. Man was a king of the domain called planet Earth. He was to have dominion. You can't have dominion without having a domain. Man lost it. So Jesus has to come since the devil brought his kingdom here and overthrew man. He overthrew mankind. Jesus had to bring his own kingdom. Immediately God released a decree. He promulgated the decree in Genesis chapter 3 verse 15. That the seed of the woman crushed the head of Satan. Destroyed his leadership. And that is exactly what he did. In Acts of chapter 2, we see the kingdom come. The kingdom came. As of Apostle 2, 1 to 4. Let me read. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, rushing mighty wind. This shows the power with which this kingdom came. It came physically. And it filled all the house where they were sitting, the upper room. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon the each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance. They spoke in other tongues. It is a kingdom that we take over the whole earth. It's taking over the whole earth. And it, no language is a barrier to this kingdom. So when the kingdom came, it is a kingdom that will consume every other nation. They spoke in other tongues. It is an everlasting kingdom. It is a worldwide kingdom. The kingdom was sent to rescue the earth that was captured by the evil one. The same kingdom Nebuchadnezzar dreamt about. The same kingdom Daniel saw in a vision in Daniel chapter 7. The same kingdom came down with power on the day of Pentecost. The church is a kingdom. Listen, those of you who make merchandise of the kingdom of God, if you don't repent, your reward shall be great in hell. 